Hello, little sprouts. We're going to read this book called My Fire Engine by Michael Rex, and we're going to learn a little bit about what it would be like to be a firefighter. My fire engine. I have a fire engine. I fight fires all the time. Bom, bom, bom. The alarm is sounding in the firehouse. Four honks means that there is a fire we have to put out. I slide down the pole and hurry. So friends up here in the fire station, the firefighters stay and sleep and eat and spend all day. And when someone calls in to 911 and announces that there is a fire, then 911 sets the alarm off at the fire station to let the firefighters know it's time to go. I put on my fire resistant pants and coat. Then I put on my rubber boots and my leather gloves. I never forget my helmet. The visor protects my face. Dressing takes less than a minute. They have to cover every bit of skin so that nothing on them gets burned. So when he gets to the fire, he would put this visor down over his face and that way everything is covered. I jump into the pumper engine and we're off. The siren blares to let people know we're coming. I'm sure you've heard fire trucks going down the street. When their lights are on and their sirens on, you gotta move out of the way to let them hurry. The aerial ladder truck is right behind us. We drive quickly, but very safely. So there are different types of fire trucks. This one happens to have a huge ladder on the top. And they use this type of truck if they have to go to a big building that's very tall, where they might have to climb up. A house is on fire. We get there just in time. Firefighters carefully enter the house to look for people. The ladder crew breaks windows and makes holes in the roof to let out the heat, smoke, and poisonous gas. So they have different jobs, each firefighter, and they know what their job is. But some of them, like this is called the ladder crew, and their job is to go up to the top and start letting out some of that smoke. My crew and I start spraying the fire. The engine carries 750 gallons of water. That equals to 25 full bathtubs, but we need more. We hook up a supply hose to a fire hydrant. The pumper engine pumps 1,000 gallons per minute. That's a lot of water. So this truck right here carries water for them. But when this truck is out of water, then they connect to these fire hydrants and the fire hydrants give them even more water. The aerial truck has raised its ladder and a firefighter is rescuing the family. The ladder can be raised to 100 feet. That's about three houses high. See, they're helping the family get out of their window safely. We spray and spray until the fire is under control. Everyone is safe, except for the family pet. I put on my air mask, grab an ax, and run into the house. So this is an air mask. It pumps oxygen into his helmet because there's not much oxygen in a room that's full of fire. It's just full of smoke and he can't breathe that. So he wears this oxygen, oxygen tank and it allows him to breathe so that he can run into the smoke. Inside, there is smoke and steam. I use the axe to knock down a bedroom door and find the pet. What kind of pet does this family have, friends? That's a pet snake. The fire is out, the house can be repaired, and even the pet is safe. What a marvelous job those firefighters did. Now it's time to clean up and put my fire engine away until next time. So they have to clean everything up. Look at this. We thought that we were hearing the story of real firefighters, but this little boy was pretending that he was the firefighter.
in rescuing the pet snake. Friends, firefighters are amazing people and have an awesome job. I want you to take a little bit of time to talk with mom and dad about fire safety at your house. So what that means is, where's your escape route? What would you do if there was a fire in your house? Where would your family meet? Those are all important things to talk about so that just in case there was a fire, you would know what to do.